So here's a quick unboxing and very short review, summary review, of the Sony DSC HX30V. I got this yesterday and I'm excited to try it out. Let's have a look. We've got the box here. Uh, first thing to notice is that this is an 18.2 megapixel camera. It has the Exmor CMOS sensor, which Sony claim gives you the high speed AF. The autofocus, according to Sony, uh, can operate within 0.1 of a second because of the BIONS image processing uh, system that they use. That's pretty impressive and if it pans out as accurate that will be wonderful. Uh, another thing to notice is that this is full HD 1080p with 60 frames a second. It has um, in still mode the potential to do 10 frames a second. So let's have a look inside and see what we actually get. Where's the... Okay. So as we would expect from digital review, uh, we've got our digital rev, we've got the screen protector, that's included. We have the instruction manual, uh, that's in English as well as Chinese I guess that would be. And then inside we have the Sony G battery, I'll show you close ups in a second guys. We have the compact charger. So this has the USB connector on one side and it has the figure of eight cable socket on the other so that you can use this with a cable anywhere in the world. Yes, you'd need to buy a cable if you went to the States or Hong Kong or Europe or wherever. Um, it comes with the UK one in my case. Um, but these cables are readily available all over the place and are fairly cheap. So. That's easy trans to transport and if you were travelling you could buy a very cheap cable at the other side and you'd be good to go. Uh, what else do we have? Let's take this out for a second. So we have the, as you would expect, the USB cable, standard USB cable. And of course one of these um, simple wrist straps. This is the type you get with most Sony compact cameras. Nothing special. And then of course we have the camera itself. It has a 20 times optical zoom and Sony have what they call clear image zoom up to 40 times. Well, that's not something I would normally use because all it's doing is doubling the image size and you will get some loss of quality, but I'll be interested to see just how good it is um, when we test that. Sony reckons it, it's fantastic, but we shall see. Uh, and it's got a, a very good zoom range on it. So let's have a look at the actual camera. Here we go. I will show you close-ups as I say. So there's the front of the camera, nice looking camera, feels good in the hands already. And if we have a look at the top plate, we have uh, on this side there is the pop-up flash. So when you're holding this, be careful not to put your, th uh, your fingers here, because that will damage the mechanism. We have the stereo microphones here, I think you can just about see that. On off switch, shutter button and the rocker switch for the telephoto zoom settings. And the mode dial, we'll go into that in more detail later. We have a little button here for setting your various custom functions. I normally use the um, custom button for the exposure compensation value, that's on my previous model. A 3 inch LCD, what they call a true black, uh, extra fine display, little thumb rest here, movie button, main jog wheel dial, playback and so on. We'll go through all these options in some detail later. On the side, we have the mini HDMI out port. That's great if you want to connect this to your TV or whatever. Nothing on this side. It does have full GPS and compass built in. We have a centrally mounted tripod bush. That's good. Previous models, earlier models a few years ago were offset, which was a problem on tripods. And then of course the battery compartment cover and SD card um, slot there. So what I've done, I've actually charged the camera already, or the battery I should say. I'm going to just turn this on now so that we can see how quickly it starts up. One of the things that's meant to be uh, improved in this model is the startup speed. I must say it looks great this model, let me just see. Fits fits nicely in the hands, my hands are pretty average. Um, that feels good. I've I've got a tendency to put my thumb here, which is not good because of the pop-up flash, so I think you'd have to uh, kind of put your finger out of the way like this, which is not necessarily comfortable, but 
I guess that's something you'd get used to fairly quickly. Okay, let me pop the battery in and then we'll have a look at uh, how quickly it starts. Okay, so when I hit this on off button, let's see how quick it takes, uh, how long it takes to start up and extend the lens and what have you. Okay, well, I'd forgotten that I need to set this up, so I'm going to do that now. Uh, and then we'll have a look. GMT, okay. Date and time format, cool. Date and time is wrong, so we're in the uh, 19th of May. Uh, and I think we're at about uh, 3 o'clock, so I don't wear a watch today, so let's have a look. This will do for me. I'll set that. Okay. Now I've got options on the screen colour. Yuck, yuck, and I like that one, so I'm going to choose that one. GPS mode. Yeah, why not? So this will actually read my position from GPS satellites uh, circling the globe, which is great. And I want the display resolution at high. I'm not sure why I'd want it at standard, but I'm sure there's some reason. And uh, we have the question mark button down here. If I got stuck any time, it will bring up a guide. That's fine. Okay, no memory card. That's fine. Let me turn this off now. Pretty quick to turn off. Okay, I'm going to turn this back on and see just how quickly it will actually uh, start. I'll show you the back of the screen this time. Here we go. Press. Wow. 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 That is fast. That is really, really fast. Um, brilliant. And <laughs> this is weird looking at the screen like that. Anyway, uh, zoom range is massive, as you can see. I'll check on the minimum uh, focus distance uh, later and so on, guys. Okay, so that's a quick look at the Sony DSC HX30V. Full review coming next. Uh, and please, if you've got any questions, leave a comment. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you would. And uh, why not subscribe while you're here? Thanks a lot. Bye. So I couldn't resist it. Uh, I've just tagged this little bit onto the end. I wanted to show you a quick sample of the video. This is the highest quality, although it's been resized to 720p. Uh, you're getting a nice zoomed in close up on my face, you lucky people. Uh, it'll show you <laughs> every line and crag and all that kind of thing. But you will see the quality of the image uh, from this close up. And I'll be doing some outside shots showing you wildlife and natural settings and so on later on. So that was just a quick little video to show you what the camera's like. I'm pretty impressed with it so far and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.